I have, I have a little buddy that wants to have a word with you. I believe his name, uh, what was his name? Oh yeah, Thundercage. <laughs> oh, that's such a, that's such a cool move. That's such a cool move. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, and welcome to another brand new Pokemon Sword and Shield Crown Tundra VGC video. Today, I'm going to be trying out this team made by my buddy Kyle A. The link to the video where he made the team is going to be in the description down below, but I figured it's Halloween, we'd do something wacky, and what's wackier than running every single Reggie on one team? So yeah, it's, it's an interesting team. It's got Life Orb Reggie Ice, uh, Figgy Berry, Reggie Gigas, Dragon's Fang, Reggie Drago, uh, Air Balloon, Reggie Steel. I, I don't know why I'm like fumbling on every single one of these words. Focus Sash, Reggie Lucky, and Weakness Policy, Reggie Rock. Funny thing is, the day he released this video, I had been testing a team similar to this, but I was actually running Choice Scarf, Bulldoze, uh, Reggie Ice. So, yeah, this is going to be an interesting time. If you guys enjoy it, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. Let me back up for my microphone. It looks like I'm a little loud. I don't know, maybe I'm just talking loud today, who knows. But yeah, happy Halloween everyone. Uh, I just I just want to say thank you for uh, all the support we've seen on the channel lately. I'm getting close to 20,000 subscribers, we actually hit 17,000 the other day. So, you know, if I keep the momentum up, daily uploads, etc, I might start doing doubles every day. Uh, I don't know, I'll probably take the weekend to get some more videos recorded and uh, try to do two a day. So yeah, hopefully we can find some actual battles. I mean, like, I want to use the team versus Series 7 teams. But we're on the casual battles uh, ladder, which the competitive battle ladder will be updated tomorrow, so you can actually use competitive teams, but this is a video for fun, so I don't really care if we win or lose. I just want to try out every single Reggie on one team. And it looks like we're facing a Series 7 team, which is good. Uh, Metagross, Tornadus, Rillaboom, Incineroar, Regieleki, and Tapu Lele. Uh, he doesn't actually have much to hit Registeel, so I'm going to have to bring that in the back, I think. I think my Regieleki lead is pretty good. Weakness policy, Regirock seems pretty good if I can deal with that Reggie, or not the Reggie, if I can deal with the uh, the new Tapu Bulu, Rillaboom. So yeah, um, maybe I can play around Regigigas a little bit. What what moveset is he running on this thing? I know he's got to have Protect, right? Yeah, Protect, Drain Punch, Knock Off, Body Slam. I mean, the Knock Off could be useful, but I'm still going to give him the weakness policy as the issue. Hmm... I'll do this. I'll lead off Regirock, Regieleki. I'll bring Reggie Ice in the back, and I think my last Pokemon has to be Reggie Steel. And even though I'm really, really weak to Metagross, I think that's the best chance I have versus it. Because Dynamax Regirock is able to eat pretty much any hit I need to, so if I can go with for the uh, plus two Max Quake, I should be fine. Yeah, I should be good to go if I can do that. Rillaboom Regieleki, that's fine. I mean, a fake out is most likely coming our way. I don't want to stay in here. I think what I'll do is I'll go hard into my Registeel. And protect. I do have protect on this guy, right? I do not, okay. Uh, do we have protect on the other man? We do, okay. So I'll go Registeel here. And protect. Yeah. Because they're likely just going to electroweb and go for the fake out into my Regieleki. We're going to lose the balloon, but I don't think I care too much. There's the glide. Okay. That's fine. And he is life orb. Okay, interesting. You don't see that too much on Rillaboom. And they just double into the steel is going to be doing a lot of damage there. I wish there was a Reggie that had Intimidate as an ability. That'd be so good. <laughs> It'd be so useful right now. Alright. Ah, dang. Okay. I Honestly, in my opinion, the team would be a lot more useful if this, uh, if this Reggie Rock wasn't running sturdy. If he was running, uh, if he was running clear body. Because that'd make it a lot easier to play around this. I mean, I can just get my weakness policy and KO the Incineroar. I think what I'll do here is I'll try to Thunder Wave the Rillaboom. Because I can eat a hit, 100%. I can eat this hit from the Rillaboom when I'm Dynamax, since this thing is disgustingly bulky on the physical side. But on top of that, we have, we have Sturdy if need be. But I just hate that I have to use my Dynamax so early in the match, when I know 
there has to be a Metagross in the back. Alright. Hopefully this works out. I'm, I'm not certain. There's the Grassy Glide. Gonna be doing a little over a quarter. Hopefully he doesn't have Parting Shot and go for it right now. That'd be annoying. Okay, good. He just Flare Blitzes. We'll get some good damage off here. Most likely just KO. Uh, we don't get the Paralysis, unfortunately. And this will definitely KO. Alright. I mean, that's going to boost your special defense a bit, which is really nice. And he can no longer intimidate. On top of that, uh, the recovery is being negated by the Sandstorm. I mean, I could go into my Regius right now, and what I want to do is threaten to KO on him. He's Life... or he's, uh... yeah, he's Life Orb, so he can't actually survive the Ice Beam, I think, especially since I'm Modest Life Orb. So what I can do is I can try to pull a Sneaky One on him. He should anticipate me protecting and going for the Ice Beam. So, I mean, like, he he also anticipated me switching out turn one, or at least not attacking, like, going for the Protect. So, I know my opponent has a decently high skill level, which means I can try to predict them to predict me to Protect. And if they go for that, that would mean that my best play right now is to just straight-up attack. So, I'll switch out into my Regieleki for my Regice. Do I do that? Maybe I just protect, yeah. And I'm gonna try to max quake that Metagross. I don't expect it to go off though. I think I have to crit if I want to KO here, especially if he steals spikes. But maybe I can get him in range where um, Thunder Cage will do it. I just need to survive a hit. Hopefully it just doubles into the uh, Reggie here. The Reggie Ice. Alright, nice. We call it. He steals spikes. Nice. I'm really glad I made that call. Yeah, like you could tell by turn one my opponent knew what he was doing. So, that's, that's pretty good. Let's see how much we get here. Max Quake, get a special defense boost, not that it matters. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that one. <laughs> he does get his weakness policy. Is the grassy terrain almost gone? Because I think if I want to win this, I have to stall out his Dynamax and win with um, Reggie Alecki. And I also have to remove that Rillaboom, like, right now. Okay. Uh, yeah, my best play, I think, is just to Ice Beam and Max Guard. Because I think I can take... I, I think I can take one. I'm hoping I can take a Grassy Glide with with uh, this Reggie Ice, but it's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Come on, you, you got this, buddy. You got this. <sighs> yeah, okay. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> that's, that's pretty disappointing. It's going to take some chip damage. Is the Grassy Terrain almost gone? I need this, like, gone yesterday. Get in the Aleki. How many turns of terrain are left? One turn of terrain. I need to double protect my Reggie Rock. Oh man, are you kidding me? I can't even protect this thing? Mm, I don't know about this moveset. 
Let me go for the Thunder Cage and the Metagross. And I need to protect and live this Grassy Glide, which I can. I can because, you know, Focus Sash, but still. Still, it's really annoying. I get the double, which is nice. He's gonna Grassy Glide, which I should live. We're gonna land a Thunder Cage, and I think Terrain goes before Sand, I hope. <laughs> I hope. There's a Steel Spike. Tell me that Terrain goes before Sand so I can live. I need Terrain to go before Sand, otherwise I just lose. Ah, nope. Unfortunate. Or I guess I wouldn't have even gotten the Terrain. Because it ends this turn, right? Oh no, you do get the Terrain. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Can't pick up a, a win game one, but... Honestly, I think we put up a good fight. I think we put up a good fight. Had we had Protect on the Reggie Lucky, I think it would have gone a bit better there. Because I could have waited until this thing wasn't uh, Dynamax to attack. But we'll go ahead and we'll forfeit there. I want to try to get at least one win with this team. I want to try to get one win. I think the issue with a lot of people's take on Mono Reggie teams is that um, the team doesn't feel like a, a team more as it feels like a, a list of competitive Pokemon, if that makes sense. So like, when I'm team building, I, I like for the team to have some kind of cohesion and synergy between them. Uh, which is why I was running like Choice Scarf, Reggie Ice on my version of it. Um, but when, when a lot of people build like Reggie teams, it's almost like individually making movesets for each Reggie without considering the partners that it may have. Okay, so this doesn't look like a Series 7 team, but I still want to play it. I still want to play this out. Um, I could lead off with Reggie Drago. Reggie Drago is max speed, right? It better be max speed, otherwise we're in trouble. Okay, we are max speed and we are timid. So I can actually lead off Reggie Drago, Reggie Alecki, and probably just take a game. <laughs> probably if they don't bring the Grim Snarl. Um, I'll bring Reggie Rock in the back, and I think it's between Reggie Steel and Reggie Ice here. Reggie Gigas is almost never going to show up to a match because it's just so bad. It's just so bad. I'll bring Reggie Gigas to the last match. I'll bring it to at least one match. I just don't think this is the one. Actually, you know, let's bring it. Let's bring Reggie Gigas. I want to see it. I want to see how well it can perform. Okay, Nine Tails Seismitoad. I think I just naturally outspeed the Seismitoad anyways. So I can just go for the Dragon Energy here. And, um... I'll just Electroweb. Since I'm Focus Sash, I can live a hit from the Seismitoad. Really what I'm doing here is trying to break the Sash and the Ninetales. Also, note the Ninetales doesn't have Drought. This is definitely not a competitive team. <laughs> but like I said, Halloween video, we're just having fun. I wonder if this thing's even trained. Uh, that that seismitoad probably would have eaten the hit if it was trained. I I, I, don't, I don't think that was trained. <laughs> All right, there's the Snorlax. And a Grim Snarl. So Grim Snarl can take the hit. I suppose my game plan here should always be just to go Reggie Rock. Actually, let's Dynamax a Reggie Gigas. Let's do it. I haven't I haven't seen that yet. And let me go for the for the Thunder Cage on the Grim Snarl. I have not seen that animation yet. I want to see it. For the thumbnail. For the thumbnail. Hey, big guy. How does it feel being the worst one out of all these Pokemon? Oh, 
Oh, that's a pretty cool animation, to be honest. That, 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 that's a pretty cool animation. Spirit Break into Regigigas, not that it matters. He actually lands a crit, which is a little annoying, but it's not like he's going to win. There's the Rock Tomb. Yeah, this is not a competitive team. I, I feel bad, man. <laughs> As he takes some damage. And you know what? Let's just Dynamax him. Let's just Dynamax him. We have not Dynamaxed this guy ever. So let's just go for it. And uh, I will also just Electroweb to knock out that Grim Snarl. All right. Honestly, I, I have to give my honest opinion here when it comes to uh, Regigigas plus Weezing. It's not going to be a good strategy. It's not. <laughs> it, it's, it's just... I, I, I would get into the details as to why it's not a good strategy, but I feel like that, that, is, that should be its own video. As he Dynamaxes what I assume is the Snorlax... Let me know in the comment section, would you be down for a video where I just go in depth as to why Regigigas plus Weezing is a bad team? There's the Electroweb, should knock out the Grim Snarl, yep. And let's see this Max Knuckle. I mean, our attack is cut in half right now, so... Yeah, it's not doing much. Slow start. Honestly, such a terrible ability. They honestly should have just made Regigigas like an uber Pokemon. Like... Like a box legendary. Just treat him like a box legendary, ban him from VGC, but give him a good ability, you know? Then we wouldn't have to deal with year after year people trying to make it work. Getting the Drago. And I suppose we just hit him with an energy. How much is this doing? A little a little less than what we need, but I think the next knuckle should do it even after the berry. Yeah, that, that should be enough. Alright, yeah, so we I mean, we do pick up a win, but like I said, that didn't seem like a competitive team. <laughs> Alright, let's get one more. I want to get one more battle, but I want it to be like versus a real team, so I'll probably skip past any that aren't real teams. Continue battling here. Honestly, I mean, I, I just, I really want to use the Gigas. I want to use the Gigas to its full potential. Oh, hello, Mirror Match. Marcos, how you doing? I am facing myself. I am my own worst enemy. Um, His team looks interesting. It looks very anti-Landorus, which, I mean, we don't have that, so we're good. Uh, I can go ahead and bring Reggie Alecki in the lead. He doesn't have much for that. I think I can actually just beat him with Regirock, to be honest. Regirock looks like he does a lot of work to this team, as long as I don't lose to Metagross right off the bat. I'll lead off with it. I'll lead off with it. I feel comfortable with that. We'll bring the Regidrago in the back, and I think my last Pokemon is going to be the Ice. And I feel good about that. I feel good about that team. Let's see what we got. Yo, it's my evil twin. Honestly, he's kind of dressed like an evil twin. That's kind of funny. Alright, Wim's got Politoed. Interesting lead. So I don't want to stay in with my uh, with my rock here. That would just be a horrible play. He's probably going to set up a Tailwind, so I'll just go for webs. And I think I'll just protect. Yeah, we'll just Electroweb. Protect. 
I do have Sturdy, so I could survive a hit, but I don't want to get burned. There's the Tailwind, as he likes the, he likes these Scalds into my, uh, into my Reggie Rock. Unless he has, like, Muddy Water, which would be annoying. Wow, that did so much. Trans Transistor is just such a good ability, man. Okay, a crit, but still, it, it would be a two-shot. Bro. Okay, he's a jack button. I was going to say, if you're weakness policy, I'm going to lose it. There's the Metagross. He's probably just going to Dynamax. I think what I should do is I should Thunder Cage and hit him with the Max Quake, and that'll probably do it. I can probably just Dynamax now. Because he's going to give me my policy. I'm, I'm always going to live. As long as he doesn't double into the Regirock, I should be fine. Even if he does, actually, I'm probably alright. Alright, let's see how much this is doing. Let's go big boy mode. Now he should steel spike, I think. Thunder Cage goes off. A eh, decent chunk of damage. As he mind storms, okay. Uh, I mean, at least I get the quake off. And if he didn't double into me, I get two of these. Can I have my policy on my on my Reggie Rock? I'd really appreciate that because now it definitely just KOs. Can you please hit me with an energy ball? Okay, yeah, we're good. <laughs> we're good. There's the policy, and at plus two with him having no defense boost, that is definitely KOing. On top of that, Aleki's still the fastest thing in the field. Ooh, he lived, but um, I, I have a little buddy that wants to have a word with you, Metagross. I have, I have a little buddy that wants to have a word with you. I believe his name, uh, what was his name? Oh yeah, Thunder Cage. <laughs> oh, that's such, a, that's such a cool move. That's such a cool move. Alright, what's coming out? Probably the Politoed, I think, but even Politoed just gets wiped up now. Ooh, Alakazam, okay. Respectable. Respectable play there. Um, he doesn't knock out my Regirock, though, so I can just hit him with the max uh, Rockfall. And I suppose I can just Electroweb. Yeah, I'll just Electroweb Rockfall, and I should be fine. Spanning force. Ow. Hello. Giga Drain will not KO me. And this Rockfall will set up Sand and KO if he's Focus Sash. He was not. Okay. And now I have a special defense boost, which is really nice. And the Sash is likely on the uh, the Whimsicott, so Sand is good just overall. We'll go ahead and send out the Reggie Ice, because uh, I can just beat the Politoed 1v1 with Reggie Drago. And I'll double down into the Whimsicott here. In fact, I can probably just protect, keep the uh, Reggie Rock healthy. Alright, just go for the uh, Ice Beam. That should definitely do it as long as I protect here. Max Guard. Because the Giga Drain would give him back a Sash. There it is. And this thing with its massive special defense stat, even if you were to target into it here, I would live.
Nice. Okay, so that's going to be game. As their Tailwind goes away, and uh, I can go ahead and drop a Thunderbolt on this guy and switch in the Drago. Thunderbolt and the Drago. And we are good to go. That should be game. There's the Earth Power, not really doing much. And Thunderbolt should seal the deal. Alright, yeah. So that's going to be game. Uh, we managed to pick up two wins on the Casual Battle Ladder. I'm so excited for the official ladder to go up so I can have consistently like competitive games. Uh, and also start Boost to the Top, which is a series where I just you know climb the ladder with my teams that I make. So if you guys are excited for that, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, and also check out Kyle A. His link will be in the description down below. He made the team, and uh, go, show him, go show him some support because he's trying out VGC soon. But yeah, with that, have a nice one. See you guys in the next video. Bye.